Hey everybody, this is Dave with Broke Box Breakers. And whether this is the first time you've ever checked out our channel or you've been with us from the beginning, thank you so much for watching. Very excited to be with you here today. And what we have is our 2023 Bowman Chrome U, one of my favorite products. And I had a lot of luck last year pulling a lot of blaster boxes. Best two cards that I pulled out of those, a Bo Nix Auto and a Tank Dell Auto. If you're going to Walmart to pick up some diapers, you're walking out with some cards like that, it's a good day. So what we have in this box, 200 base card set is what the set features, featuring 54 different schools. Your Bamas, your Ohio States, your Michigans, your big time football programs, there's gonna be a lot of players from those schools. And then a few schools that just have one or two players, so really a mix and variation of everything here. These are officially licensed, and as far as college cards, they tend to be the more valuable cards on the market. A lot more valuable than your wild cards, your leaf, uh, your sages, all of the unlicensed product that has the altered uniforms. These tend to be a lot more valuable than those. So they feature a number of colored parallels, ranging anywhere from out of $3.99 down to your reds out of five. And we like to dream big on this channel. Where I've been sitting right here, we've pulled a one out of one before. Could tonight be the night? Could we have a Shadir Sanders? Could we have a Marvin Harrison Jr. in this box? It's time to find out. So it's going to be a lot of cards to get through. I'm going to do my best to move quickly. So 24 total packs and we have four cards per pack. Caleb Williams on the cover, of course. Projected number one overall pick. That would be the guy to pull out of this, along with Marvin Harrison Jr. Go ahead. Out of the way here. Let's see how we can get this guy to stay. That should do it. So. Organized here. Pack number one we have first. Henderson, Malik Benson. So nothing crazy there. A little background on me personally, I, I played college football, not near the level that these guys play. Ohio Wesleyan, Division Three, one of the hogs on the offensive line, and that is a brotherhood like no other. So Tyleek Williams, this is a guy making himself a lot of money this year, defensive tackle for Ohio State. He's been the best defensive tackle on the team. Beast on the run, beast against the pass, getting a lot of pass pressure. So hopefully his stock continues to go up. And we have a Makai Lemon. Pack number three. Ohio State is definitely the team I'm most knowledgeable about. We're in Southeast Ohio. Buckeye country, right in the heart of it. If you ever want to get something done, go out during a Buckeye game. There's no one out and about. Dallas Turner, really good edge rusher, 250 pounds. So a little bit undersized, but extremely fast. Jordan. And in this box, we're looking for two autographs. 
There's several inserts, so we'll get through those here in a second. But the two autographs really make or break your box, no doubt about it. We have okay, so a purple should be out of 399. Let's take a look here. Roman Wilson. 169 out of 399. Very nice. I believe he has set, well, he's leading the NCAA so far in touchdown receptions at the time we're shooting this video. That might be a card you want to hold on to. A lot of upside with that player. Keep that here. And Xavier Worthy from Texas. Talking about playing offensive line. If there's any O lineman out there watching this video, how fun is a sport where you literally find a sport where being fat within reason is an advantage? What a gosh darn fun sport to play. Brock Bowers, best tight end in college football, coming off an injury, hopefully gets well soon. Jordan Travis having a very good year with Florida State. Very strong team this season. And something there. We'll try to keep things moving. There's a lot of cards in this box. We want to show you the stuff you're really interested in. So we do have a purple that should be out of 399. Let's take a look. Nope. So that would be a base card. The refractor, sorry. Or maybe let us know in the comments. You guys can fill us in on what exactly that card would be. And Caleb McDowell. So we'll keep this one right here. Not numbered. Maybe a Shimmer Refractor. Again, we're new at this, so it's been very helpful. A lot of you guys are very knowledgeable on this, been at this a lot of years. These players get coached up. We need to get coached up too. So leave us some feedback, please. Ramblin' Man insert. Again, Brock Bowers, who is the best tight end in college football. Nice shine to that card. Did you look at the back there? So that would be one of our inserts. And Brandon Tice. Now, if any of you guys played offensive line, you might share the purse I have of you focus on offensive line when football's going on. You're not really watching the receivers. You're watching the line of scrimmage. And the best lineman, as far as I can tell so far this year, there's a nice refractor. First Bowman, Jock Campbell. What's the last one? First Bowman, Ricky White from UNLV. So as far as the best O lineman at the college level right now, you have Fashion New for Penn State, which a lot of people were very surprised that he came back this season. You have Amarius Mims from Georgia, and a guy I really like, Joe Alt from Notre Dame, literally has O line running in his blood. His dad played for the Kansas City Chiefs for 13 seasons. Okay, so we have a black card here. Let's see if that's numbered. Not numbered. University of Cincinnati. That. Grant Wells. So we'll combine these with a couple before we get going. And one giveaway we wanted to do tonight, 
At this point we're filming, who do you think wins the Heisman Trophy? It is truly up for grabs at this point of the season. So, we get to the giveaway. Will Johnson, so, Will Johnson's only a sophomore, but he's drawing comparisons to Charles Woodson. If my Michigan fans that I work with are out of line and they're comparing him to Charles Woodson, let me know. I need some ammunition. But that is an incredible looking card there. Not numbered. But that would be a card to potentially hold on to. Only a sophomore, so really bright future, best years ahead of him. As a Buckeye fan, it's very hard to praise Michigan players, but you have to respect how that guy is a ball player right there. So we have Prime Junior, Shadur Sanders. And this is his first Bowman, meaning the first card Tops has ever printed of his. Definitely one we'll want to hang on to there. And in the past, buying a lot of these blaster boxes, very scratchable cards. There's not as much scratch surface on these particular cards. I and mean, there was a lot of a gray area on last year's edition. So this seems to be a better quality card, at least comparing this year's product to last year's. Corey Kiner again from the University of Cincinnati. Jackson Dart from Ole Miss. Talented quarterback with a lot of upside there. So, getting back to what I mentioned earlier about who's going to win the Heisman this year. Drop a comment. It's free to you guys. Who do you think is going to win the Heisman? And whoever has the correct answer, you're going to be put in a randomizer. And we're going to give away some really cool stuff to somebody that has the correct answer. At this point of the season that we're filming this, it truly is up for grabs. It doesn't hurt to drop a comment, take a stab at it. We hope Marvin Harrison Jr. selfishly. Sanders. Jefferson. Sam Hartman, the transfer from Wake Forest. That looks like a refractor there. Again, a lot of cards to get through, so I want to get to the stuff that you guys are particularly interested in. There's been no auto so far. Jalen Marshall. Ramblin' Man, insert. Jalen Wright, popular player there. So that would be a refractor insert there. JJ McCarthy. One of the better quarterbacks Michigan's had recently. That Ramblin' Man's a really cool insert. They did that last year, and there's a couple of new inserts they've done this year. They moved to the 1955, which is very cool. All right. So we may have something here. Unexpected Delights, Early Risers, from UCLA, Dante Moore. So that would be a rare insert. Is it numbered? Not. Dante Moore from UCLA. Cool looking card. And Joe Milton. Got a good feeling that the last few packs are gonna be the best that we have. We're still waiting on our autos. So, let's 
bring it home strong. Yep, the box has seen better days. Time to move on. Let's get these stacks in order. And again, if you want to take a stab, who's going to be the Heisman winner this year? Drop a comment. It does not hurt to take a chance. Davion Robinson. Looks like we may have something here. Unexpected delights. Is this our auto? Early risers from Oklahoma. Jackson Arnold. Okay. Not the best name we could pull from there, but still solid. So, still no autos. We're supposed to be getting two out of this box. The best should be yet to come. This car brings back bad memories. He ran for over 200 yards against my high state Buckeyes last year and two touchdowns. So we're gonna to try to sell this one quickly. But a nice looking card. Brock Bowers again, two of those rambling mans. This I believe is the 1955 insert. Jordan Travis, one of the better quarterbacks in college football this year in Florida State having a very, very good season. So that's a nice one there, gold. Still, no autos. Let's dream big, guys. What do we got? Josh Williams. Again, the 1955 insert. Looks like they refractor. Barnes. There. There's these a little bit. So we have five packs to go, still no autos. Getting down to crunch time. So we do have a purple, that should be out of 399. Javen Blard, Juice Ellison. Let's see if our research failed us. Out of 399, Justice Ellison, sorry. So, from what? Wake Forest. She could look at that. Again, a 1955 insert. And CJ Donaldson Jr. Four to go. There's gotta be some autos in here, guys. That's why you buy these hobby boxes. Not a huge number of colored parallels so far either, so you really have to think the best might be waiting for us here at the end. Looks like a 1955 Brock Bowers. Can't talk about his ability enough. Exceptional tight end. And Frank Gore Jr. Talk about feeling old. I watched his dad through the years. And these guys are built different. Frank Gore was an absolute tank. You think about the abuse running backs have to take on a daily basis playing the game. That guy endured it all and then some. All right, I do see a green there. The green will be out of 99. Let's hope we have a nice pull there. Eli Holstein. Caleb Johnson, make sure we're correct. Out of 99, 20 out of 99. Caleb Johnson from Iowa. 
So that'd be the best short print we've gotten so far, as far as the lowest number. Again, no autos. Two packs left. This is their last pack magic. do have an auto. So our first auto, AJ Swan from Vanderbilt. Nice looking refractor with the on card sticker there. So that is numbered out of 499. Now I know a lot about Vanderbilt because my sister actually went to Vanderbilt during the Jay Cutler years and went to a lot of games during that time frame, she's in the marching band. And Roman Wilson, again, the wide receiver from Michigan that is currently leading NCAA in touchdowns. One pack to go. This is last pack magic time. There's gotta be an auto in here. Again, I've sat in this chair before, hold a one of one. Could tonight be the night. And okay, let's go. Emeka Buka. So, as far as the autos we could hit, this guy, in my opinion, is going to be a late first round, early second round pick. And he's overshadowed by Marvin Harrison Jr. But on any other team, he is such a beast, number one receiver, and really a beast for Ohio State. There's just so many mouths to feed. Really cool card, and that is green, so I believe it should be numbered out of 99. Yes, sir, out of 99. As Buckeye fans, we're very, very happy with that. And to follow him up, the last card of the entire box, Mecca Buka. So, not a jackpot, but a very solid box. And one thing that I found very useful as far as combining base cards, if you ever run into base cards that you're finding a hard time selling, right after these guys are drafted, combine them into lots if they're drafted to the same team, and then guys are a lot more likely to pull the trigger. So that's a little tip with selling these guys. And the best card, definitely from the box, Mecca Abuka. And our other auto, AJ Swan. Two highlights from this box. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. As far as reviewing the box, we'll give it a score out of 10. Six and a half out of 10. How's that? No jackpot. A couple solid autos. Some nice parallels. Nothing crazy. And some good value out of the inserts that we got from this box. So, if you like what you see, it would really help us if you hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate any feedback, any coaching you could give us. We're new at the game here, and we really appreciate any feedback you guys could give us. Again, this is Dave with Broke Box Breakers. Happy box breaking and pack ribbon to each of you. We'll catch you next time.